What's up guys, this is Marky Basie and this is my most requested live. Ask me anything chat, my new song, brand new song is called Levels. I wanna thank my guy Romeo at iHeart for having me on the show tonight. We're about to get into it right here. Brittany from Morgantown, West Virginia asks, where are you from and do you still live there? I'm from San Francisco, California, the Bay Area. Um, I have not lived there for 10 years though I've been living in and out of suitcases and mostly in Los Angeles for, you know, since I was 19, really. Um, so I'm still very close to my hometown, but I don't live there any longer. Next, Sarah from Erie, PA. What was your first job? My first job was selling concessions uh, at this Civic Center auditorium. They would get like, you know, uh, legacy rock and roll artists um interesting like theater groups would come probably sat like a thousand people so i would be able to see the show and then i would sell people you know their popcorn sasha from denver favorite thing to eat um uh, my favorite thing to eat is i mean that's such a tough question i guess you know if i was a, in a celebratory mood I would have, you know, the best Italian food possible and uh, a really good Burgundian style Pinot Noir to go with it. Trevor from St. Louis, Missouri, biggest influence on your career? I would say my first band, 2AM Club, was very influential on me. That's where I, you know, learned the business, uh, learned how to write, arrange, produce music, learned how to play music. Learn how to be a man, how to, you know, interact with people, how to be collaborative, and also how to assert myself. Ashley from White Sulphur Springs, how did the Levels project come together? Um, Levels uh, is a song that came to me by way of an A&R slash manager that I've worked with um, named Gene Nelson. He's a legendary music figure, and I was... Um, just looking for songs to sing. Usually I write all my own songs, but every once in a while, I will uh, take an outside song and kind of put my own spin on it. And Gene happened to have this song and I actually went back and forth with the producer and the writer for about a year trying to get it right. Finally, we landed on the version that you hear now and we're very excited about that. Francine from Alabama, what's the best advice that a music lyric has ever given you? Hmm. I mean, <laughs> there's so much advice in my life that comes from <clears throat> songs. Uh, I mean, it could be something as easy as, you know, Keep Your Head Up, Tupac, one of my favorite songs when I was a little kid. Just so many songs about like striving and, um, you know, just being able to persevere uh, through hard times. That's just the one that came to my head right now. Maria from NYC, if you were on The Masked Singer, what would your costume uh, be and what would you sing? I don't, I've never seen that show, so I don't know how it works with the costumes, but I would probably sing uh, some 90s R&B probably, or maybe like a, a classic, like Stevie Wonder song. Kelsey from Pittsburgh, PA, did you ever pass your, did you pass your driver's test the first time? I absolutely did. Uh, I was shaking. Where I'm from, you had to parallel park. I was freaking out. Didn't think I was gonna be able to do it, but pulled through like a champ. Got that license. Almost wanted to cry. It was like one of the best feelings ever, ever, ever. What was your go-to childhood dance move? Probably like the six step, uh, like basic uh, break dancing, uh, like floor work and probably the worm. I used to be able to do a little uh, a little windmill action. This is like in the days of break dancing, I think when I was like in middle school or something. The Usher kind of like sideways moonwalk. I got that in the bag. That's about it. I'm not a great dancer, to be honest. Melissa from Santa Monica, which emoji would you use to describe yourself? Well, I've been feeling, uh, <laughs> I've been on tour a lot lately. So the touring version of me is like the astronaut in the spacesuit, because I don't know where I'm at or what I'm doing most of the time. I just know I'm there 
to perform. Um, so that's what I was thinking lately. Lillian from Chicago, do you consider what you do a job or a really hard hobby? Well, if you get paid to do some, that's your job. So I consider it a job. Uh, you don't get paid for hobbies. Um, so it's definitely my job. Music has been my job, you know, most of my adult life. Thank you guys. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for checking me out. Have a beautiful day. Romeo, good looking. Go listen to Levels right now. I'll see you very soon.